joined now live from New York by uh, senior U.S. economist at Deutsche Bank Securities, Carl Riccadonna. Thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Um, it does appear that things are looking up. For, first, what is your assessment of the current economic situation in the U.S.? Do you see these green shoots? Uh, I do see some uh, green shoots, and, and first of all, thank you for inviting me on the program. Uh, we, we do see an improvement in the tone of the economic data. Uh, in the third quarter, we saw an improvement in both spending at the household level and also spending at businesses, uh, investment spending and whatnot. And uh, we're in an environment where inventory levels are extremely lean, and this means that uh, b factories will have to increase production in order to satisfy rising demand. Uh, and that seems to be what uh, is emerging in the most uh, recent data, whether we look at uh, factory output data, manufacturing output, the production manager surveys. Uh, the economy does seem to be picking up a little bit of momentum here into year end. So what are you expecting to hear when, uh, when, when the Fed announces what it's going to do later on today? Well, the Fed has it a little bit easier at the December meeting. Uh, I think that we could see some more bold policy initiatives in the first part of next year with some communication changes and whatnot. As for today, I think they will slightly upgrade their economic assessment and uh, beyond that, uh, very little change to the statement or policy stance. Now what about this current calendar date of uh, uh, 2013, mid-2013 for the next rate hike? Do you think that Ben Bernanke is going to stick with it and, and if not, what else does he do? Well, I think for today they do stick with it because there will be minimal changes to the Fed statement. But this is one of the key areas we think that they could change uh, policy going into the new year. Uh, some, some economists are actually looking for a quantitative easing uh, in the first half of the new year. And barring a Lehman-style event in Europe, we don't think this will be the case. Uh, what we do think could come about uh, in terms of uh, changes to policy uh, are twofold. Number one. Uh, four times per year, the Fed provides uh, central tendency forecasts for things like growth and inflation and also unemployment. We think they'll add a, an interest rate uh, expectation into that uh, series of forecasts. So uh, forward guidance on interest rates and uh, also relating to that uh, will be this uh, mid-2013 language that's currently in the, uh, the Fed statement suggesting that the current stance of policy will be maintained to that point. A lot of Fed policymakers are not satisfied uh, to have a, a sort of arbitrary calendar date uh, in the Fed statement. They would rather couch that onto various data developments. Now, the Fed is uh, different from uh, some uh, European central banks in that it has a dual mandate of not only price stability but also full employment. Uh, so this complicates uh, matters for the Fed. They can't go to a strict inflation targeting policy. Uh, instead, what they'll do is they'll tie that Fed exit uh, to both a uh, certain level of the unemployment rate as well as a certain level of inflation, most likely core inflation. You mentioned Europe. Uh, is that the biggest concern in terms of headwinds? Uh, there's two major uh, headwinds that I would uh, consider in terms of uh, uh, looking at our forecast risks for 2012. Uh, number one is obviously uh, developments in Europe. Uh, we've seen a, a very high degree of correlation between uh, U.S. and European credit spreads and U.S. and European uh, equity markets. Uh, there's a uh, significant uh, wealth uh, effect from uh, declining uh, uh, financial market declines. Uh, so, uh, number one, uh, we're concerned about uh, events in Europe. And number two is uh, the risk of uh, a significant change in energy prices. Uh, we saw that in the first part of this year with the Arab Spring and whatnot. A very significant implied energy tax resulted from the run-up in gas prices uh, from December of last year up to the uh, very first part of May. Uh, Carl, Carl Riccadonna, thank you very much indeed for joining us from New York. Thank you.